I want to ask about uh, the tram metal. <laughs> I, I I search uh, planes. Datura, datura metal. Uh -huh. I, I search for for uh, medical herbs that can uh, make us uh, to uh, go to higher frequencies, and I I experiences uh, some, uh, but uh, still in experiments in uh, I, I I use. Uh, uh from up uh kemangi what is in what is in, in english eh? kemangi Apa -apa? kemangi 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 surawung oh, ya yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's be called kecubung right yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Then, 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 I, i just want to try to uh, experience uh, but, uh, with the uh, metal but uh, there is not a lot of data with datura Oh, yeah. it's no, it's uh, basil, basil, kemangi, oh, basil. kemangi, yeah, datura, yeah, basil. datura metal and basil. But what he said, the datura metal have no much information about that, how to brew it, how to, yeah, to, it's to, something to, like that to mix it. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, uh, those uh, plants, any experiences hmm. with the datura metal? Have you tried because you, you have been in Indonesia? Maybe you know about the Trabetal. Is, is there any, any experiences about the Trabetal? No, I have not been uh, aware of, uh, of this one. And um, I was saying that uh, mainly when I am in Indonesia, I'm mainly focused on other purposes and other works. I haven't really been exploring any Oh, any okay. plant really over there it's more uh, the the i i come in general to indonesia for my own spiritual development and just working with the powerful energy of uh, bali and the land itself but i want to come back on what you say about datura you're talking about datura yeah. right uh, okay it's so, like trumpet flower yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know very well because this is, this is part of my medicine. Um, yeah. So the there is different kinds of datura. They have the datura, which is the small trumpets that goes up and which is the one very small one that is used in India. So that's been used in India as a sacrament for hundreds of years uh, together with cannabis, actually. Uh, in Varanasi, in a very old Uh, Shivaic uh, Hinduism, where they're praying to Shiva, they're using cannabis and a combination of datura all together to enter into higher realms of frequency and frequency of, of uh, the Shiva realms. This is also, we say, part of the ancient Sh Soma uh, plant, which was the brew of the gods which had the capacity to bring people into a higher trance where they will enter in connection with their own gods and beliefs in different kinds of archetypes. And so, yes, the true work can be brewed. And this, the thing is that there is not much information about how to brew the plant. Uh, and because uh, it has, it can be, it has the medicinal potential, but, and it has that, visionary potential but it's also and it is not but but and it's also um poisonous plant so we have to understand that how to work and how to work with the quantity in in the amazon how i myself uh, worked with those plants my teacher gave me the bigger trumpet the one that uh, uh the one that we call uh, kanachiari in shipibo which is the angel trumpet, those big ones, those big white flowers, or sometimes they are yellow and a little uh -huh. bit red, reddish, which is not datura, but which is brugmansia. And they're part of a larger family of plants, which we call the ink, uh, um, uh, hexing plant, hexing plant, H-E-X-I-N-G, hexing plant and those hexing plants they are part of a family of plants called uh, um, they're part of the family of plants where that that contains three main um, 
uh, alkaloids, uh, molecules, atropine, dioscamine, and scopolamine. scopolamine. Those three, yeah, and scopolamine. These three are like powerful psychedelic when they combine together. And, but like I say, they can have also very, they, they, they can be also uh, potent yes. poisons. So it has to be those in certain way. But in a way that we use it in the shamanic world, we use it to enter and access like different realms and dream world. My first experience with those plants were out of body experience. Um, meaning uh, the, the capacity of, uh, of uh, in a vivid dream went out of the body and just explored different realms of existence. My teacher will give it only to people who are advanced in the path of shamanism. Their plants can be very dangerous. And um, at the same time, they are uh, the deepest um, plant to explore consciousness uh, within the realms of ayahuasca. So sometimes you have shamans that combine the ayahuasca with the datura, with the brugmansia. They combine it together to give like a deeper effect, but in a very small dose in small quantities that we learn to master with time. So um, the visionary space and the healing properties of the plant can just also open. So actually the component of uh, scopolamine, eosiamine and atropine, actually you can buy that uh, on the line, uh, the apothecary, right? You know, somehow you can buy a lot of different, all of all those plants and, and molecules online. And yes, there is also synthetic uh, of it. I have a tendency to work only myself with, with natural plants and natural remedies. But yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. Okay. They're not uh, forbidden molecules. You can find, you can basically, you can, the, those plants are not forbidden those psychedelic, um, they are not regulated. Those who are the most regulated are in, uh, in, our, in our society and through uh, different conventions uh, is uh, demethyltryptamine and uh, different and other arcadoids, but DMT, which is one of the substance that is uh, controlled and regulated in the world, yes. And again, just let, let's say that this, all this talk is not to uh, create like a, um, to say you should use psychedelic. I say first, uh, be aware of the regulations of your countries. And second, be aware of uh, that you are, if you are going to do it, you're going to do it with some people who have the knowledge, shaman, who are taking you like psychedelic expert people who are being trained and that you're sure that they are trained and mm -hmm. then, and then to experiment that. And, and at this and also the last thing, the last point, which is very important. It is not for everyone. It's a remedy for the world, though the entire world will not experience it directly. It will, it's, it is designed to be um, in the ends of certain people. Of course, it's a, like I say, it's, it's can be like a universal remedies, but from what I saw over the years, pouring the medicine for thousands of people, I would say that uh, not everyone is receptive to it, but those who feel deep inside the coal are going to find a very, very powerful medicine for themselves to explore and a very powerful experience of life. Many people who come to those ceremonies have the experience of a one lifetime. Yes. And yes. for me, this has been like an honor and my, my gladiator way <laughs> to just bring people to awareness and to bring people to a, a, a super conscious, a super awareness that could reveal themselves and find inside of this remembrance and this uh, revealing properties of the medicine, deep 
healing for themselves and for their ancestors and families and for all their surrounding. Yes. So that's my way. I'm really happy that I can share it with you here and um, looking forward to share with the, with the people um, um, also on a personal level, if those who are interested into participating in those rituals, we organize retreat in Peru every year. And we, uh, and we are also present in countries, in other countries that uh, uh, either have uh, regulated it, uh, regulated those plans, or are still working the regulation and we have the permission somehow to work with the plants um, in those places. Thank you, Benjamin. I think it's already two hours, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, we are more than the limit. Usually we summarize this, but I think today uh, it's very difficult to summarize this because it's talking uh, within our souls. So everybody will have their own understanding about this and we cannot summarize and say this like this, but I think the essence of uh, the master say, I think we can digest it. Pakun, you have any closing remarks? One thing I wanted to add before we leave is I think it um, uh, there would be uh, you know uh, Arya was talking about uh, the largest congress um, uh, now in Colorado about psychedelic. Um, we have like so many different countries now just opening regulations regarding uh, psychedelic medicine or even cannabis uh, sativa medicine uh, step by step and 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 this not only the medical properties but also the spiritual properties that are linked to it i think it is really really time that all those differences that we have in in different politics and states just start aligning with each other um as Thailand is opening, for instance, uh, the regulation on cannabis and USA is growing with it. And then we have in USA and within USA, the possibility to use uh, also on uh, for religious purpose, spiritual purposes, um, med psychedelics uh, like um, uh, peyote, that is like for instance, yeah. very, very medicine or ayahuasca in certain places, certain churches around churches and uh, spiritual organization. I think it is really, really time for also maybe country like Indonesia to, to, to really explore uh, on the scientific level first, because I think this is the first door um, to really understand uh, a powerful medicine such as ayahuasca, but uh, to really explore the capacities of the plant and, and, and medical properties, and not only medical properties, but also spiritual properties, as uh, it's part of the constitution of Indonesia that um, um, we all live upon the creator and it's part of your constitution. I don't know the exact terms that you're using, but I think it's the second article of your constitution that defines our, also uh, every um, being uh, under the power of creator. Uh, in re and that you are also free to look at different whatever is the faith or religion that you will embody. Um, there is a potential for spiritual enlightenment and spiritual um, knowledge into the medicine. And there's a potential also in the scientific world. And I think ayahuasca is a very beautiful tool to explore both sides and to maybe unify the what we call divine science somehow in the in in the future uh, there is a huge potential for that plant to be studied and i hope that some uh, people will start like having studies about psychedelic also in indonesia and in other countries around um so they can see the healing potential and also the but then the the potential of uh, of the peaceful um knowledge that is within the empathic self that you can open with it. So I'm very, very uh, happy that we could have that conversation today. Uh, Richard, thank you for your invitation. Uh, Arya, my dear friends, my dear brother, thank you also. 
for uh, for your friendship and for everyone that has been here listening um, to this uh, to this episode of uh, Gladiator Bangsa. Again, thank you.